Fast fact. Bees poop? Yellow. You'd think that would make obviously, but that's the like in the pictures, well I never that's when they draw with the little pooping. Alright. So there I'm gonna be showing you how to recreate this really beautiful kind of mermaid-esque eyeshadow look. It's actually super simple. So the Huda Wild Python and the Huda uh, Mint palette. And uh, if you wanna know how to do it, I hope you do, stay tuned. The Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is one of the best ones for controlling oils on the lids. And because I have hooded eyes, um, I like to use it. And then if I want to like blink even bright canvas, I just apply my uh, different eyeshadow primer that has color to it over top of this. But I always use this one underneath, or almost always if I want it to be like long wearing. The Anastasia eyeshadow primer because it has a color to it and I'm gonna put this on my lids. See how much brighter this eye is now? And I'm just going to set this with a white eyeshadow. This is the um, Sephora collection. Recording anymore? Oh, it wasn't recording. Okay, don't stop recording this time. So we did the blue. We did, we did, well, no, we did mint for the transition. We did blue. For the outside corner transition, the outside corner here for the the deep colors, the mix to the browns, the crease across is the green, and this is this one. Okay, we're caught up. Okay, cool. So yeah, we tapped the GVS place, Aqua Shimmer, and the center up onto into the transition to blend away all of the, the things. Now I'm gonna use the green shimmer shade from the Huda Wild Palette, this guy right here. Uh, and I'm gonna tap that green shimmer shade on the inner corner of my eye. Blending into that green and the blue that we just laid down. Hey, welcome in, thanks for joining. So now that I've done that, I'm going to clean up under my eyes. And then with your eyeshadow and eyeliner, you want your um, color, your shape to be like a continuation of your lower lash line. So you just want it to like follow the waterline of your, your lower uh, eyelid and continue and extend that outward and upward. I'm going to use the um, eyeliner retractable pencil and with the crease shade that we used in the eye. 
flat, smudging brush. Yeah. I like to kind of blend my eyeliner and like wing it up into the eyeshadow a little bit in the corner. In this corner, because it's just all lights. It's not going to help with the audio though. Because the camera is also recording the the audio has a little pop filter though which is nice so there's that all right and then the very outside corner just to connect it back down I'm gonna dip into the browns again Boom shakalaka and then to haze out underneath and blend it out even further, I'm going to dip into the um, green shade from the Juvia's Mint. And then I'm going to use the small fluffy brush with the yellowy shade and just blend on the outside corner here. And up along the eyeshadow on the um, outside too. I think it looks cool. It's kind of like a wing. That's okay. And the last step is the inner corner highlight, which is going to be this guy here with our pinky finger. Pinky finger is the best finger for the inner corner. And I am going to go... Right there. Oh, so pretty. Now, I do believe I would like to bring a little shimmer into this as well, so I am also going to take just a tiny bit of the dark blue shimmer that we used originally as the base for the eyelid and put that a little bit um, in the center here as well. The end. You could add a brow bone highlight at this point. I normally use a whatever highlighter I'm using on my face for my brow bone. Um, so. This look, I would probably do my greeny, blue, white toned one here from my Sephora collection palette. A flat, little fluffy brush, like, like, yay. And the ends of the bristles. And it fits so good right along the brow bone. Start just under the arch, go forward, go down the tail. Then if you wanna blend it, wipe that brush off flip that brush from being flat like this to vertical like this so it's got more width and you can just blend out all those edges boom boom make it work for you smarter not harder thanks for joining me i hope i recorded all of that also um hi this is Amanda Road Art, blah, 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 that, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna prefix this. Um, this is, this 
is A Rose Artistry, and thanks so much for popping on my page. Um, if you wouldn't mind, if you enjoy, end up enjoying this content, make sure to click the like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you're interested, I'm going to start uploading uh, more consistent content and actually do this thing. So let's get started. And uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I don't know. Is that it? I think that's it. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah. If you're new, you're new. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let's try it again. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to give this video a like. Uh, let me know if you have any thoughts down in the comment section down below. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, giving this a share, anything like that, it's always appreciated. I will be posting more uh, tutorial based content and stuff coming up uh, soon. I'll be launching a posting schedule in sometime in the next month. So, if you want to know more, I update most frequently on Instagram and TikTok. Um, Instagram, that's Amanda underscore Rose underscore Artistry. And on TikTok, it is A or at A Rose Artistry. Thanks, guys.